Technology is constantly changing the way doctors and nurses keep us healthy, but the latest and greatest often comes with a huge price tag. A surgeon at Munson Healthcare Cadillac Hospital found an exception to that rule. Michelle Dunaway shows us the brand new tool and explains what it does in today's MedWatch report. The real advantage for me when it comes down to this is it gives me the flexibility to have a better technically sound surgery. Kent Bowden is a surgeon at Munson Healthcare Cadillac. He says he always wanted to work in a small town. But at the same time, I didn't want to pigeonhole myself, so to speak, to become just a small town surgeon. So I still wanted to think big because at the end of the day, my patients need to have the best care possible. And that is why he was instrumental in bringing this new technology to northern Michigan. It's called the FlexDax, helping surgeons provide less invasive laparoscopic surgery. There's a device that actually holds onto your wrist and allows all of your hand motion to translate directly to the tip of the instrument. So it's the first device that is actually robotic in its nature without having any of the expensive work of a robot. A laparoscopic robot can cost a hospital up to $2 million initially with a $10,000 maintenance contract every month. The FlexDex is just $500 and comes with other benefits. It kind of evens the playing field and gets it into something that all general surgeons can use, all gynecologic surgeons can use, all thoracic surgeons can use, all urologic surgeons can use, as opposed to just specially trained robotic surgeons. It can also be ready quickly. If I'm doing a late case, um, an emergency basis or something like that, I don't have to call in the robotic team, open up a robotic room, and set up a robotic case. I can just ask them while I'm already in the procedure to open the flex decks, and we have it. This only became available to hospitals in March, and Dr. Bowden was one of the very first to use it. Currently, I've used it more than anybody else in the world. I'm going to do my 50th case. Um, so we've been working very closely with the inventors and the developers and we've actually worked on out how to make it the best, uh, the best use for every type of procedure that you're trying to do. And as the technology grows, surgeons will be able to use the flex docs for all aspects of surgery, something Dr. Bowden says will make life better and easier for patients. I want you to be able to get world-class care here in a small institution, so that's what I'm committed to and that's how I approach all of my patients. For MedWatch, I'm Michelle Dunaway.